Good afternoon. So it's that time of year where you just got to pull out all the stops. Um, I just uh, changed oil on this one so I felt comfortable on readjusting my throttle cable and I took it to full deflection. Okay, this is the little 60 inch, but it saved my, you know, rear end this past month because I've been running it primarily on the back of the, the Colorado pickup. Uh, and the thing is, is I kind of felt like I wouldn't get enough RPMs out of it. So I put my throttle, you know, the a throttle lever uh, to full, and then I pulled the cable forward so it was full deflection. Actually, I didn't put it all the way at full. That way I was knowing that I'm going to my, my stop, my throttle stop down here. And I'm just hoping that my governor's set to, to, uh, to work. So hopefully, I do, th I do think I hear a little bit more RPMs out of it. And hopefully that'll make a difference. Because um, I got too many lawns to be fooling around, you know, with, uh, without getting 100% out of everything. So, you know, a lot of the, there's a lot of lawns that I'm picking up and a lot of people falling off on, on uh, service. Um, so I want to rise to the occasion and this is some of the things you go through. I was looking at a hyperdrive because like this machine, I went out on the first seven or eight lawns without the truck and it was just so much easier because you're running to the lawn and pulling up on the PTO without doing anything and let you focus on pass route structure without taking into consideration where you're parked up at if, you know the truck can be in the way of good pass routing and stuff like that so that was that was great and and when i was doing it because you see i got my attachments that go in those two holes and i got the blower fixed in the weed eater that goes behind the seat but anyway Worked, worked absolutely perfect and great. Um, what I wanted to do then was go get a hyperdrive from down south uh, that came up on Facebook, but the guy wouldn't come down more than, I, he wanted 5,000 minimum on a 72 inch hyperdrive with the Hustler with the uh, 37 horse Kawasaki, I believe it was. And it was carbureted, which I prefer over fuel injected. You know, we almost had a deal, but Hey, I don't, I'm not desperate for a mower and we're at the end of the season. So a lot, a lot better things might come up. Okay. So then this mower with sharpened blades and greased up chassis and everything, uh, you know, it's, it's ready to go. I need a smidge more air in the one tire up front. Um, I greased the wheels and, uh, the deck bearings and, uh, underneath here on the lift structures, there's certs right about where my finger is four of them so that's all and the only ones i didn't grease is the ones on the uh push bar uh for the back at the back of the, the mower deck uh i don't know why i didn't do it and you know, change the air filter change the fuel filter the only thing i didn't do is change the hydraulic fluid i'm running royal purple 2050 motorcycle oil it's been in there since well, it's hard. It's hard to say. Beginning, beginning of my use of this machine, pretty much. So, I'm thinking maybe eight years. So it's due, and I can kind of hear it shearing. Uh, you know, the oil breaking down. Um, it has plenty in it, and these hydros are fast uh, with these, and they're even and they have a lot of reverse speed. I've got a slow one on the 72, on that the heavy 72 on the truck there. Um, it's slowing in reverse, which is annoying because I like to do the forward back pass, pass routing and, and uh, you know, uh, focus di discharge. All right, let me grab this one off. I'll show you what I'm using uh, the past few days and probably the rig is gonna carry me on out and I'll show you how I unload off of this truck.
Okay, so as you see, it fits pretty snugly. Uh, I had to take my uh, gooseneck ball off. And, uh, and as you probably noticed maybe, when you run it on, it, it runs in nice because the tires fit right between. And those boards are there to raise the whole thing up because the deck was dragging them too much on the uh, wheel wheels. So, uh, but when you come off, sometimes the wheels will stay straight and track backwards. And sometimes they'll want to turn around. And I've run into three PSI on all the tires. So it doesn't not do it. It does turn around, but I'm always leery of blowing a bead off or something under that scenario. And then uh, the, the, if you if it's dry weather, you're fine. If it's wet, I can't find good ramps anywhere. The ones I want. Uh, if it's wet, uh, then yeah, you got to kind of be selective in how you park. But it's doable in the wet. And you get what you do when you when you're ramp loading, right? Except for like the optimum conditions with the tailgate with the diamond, with the uh, expanded metal traction metal. You know. If you're backing in, like I have to with the Colorado, because of the weight distribution of the vehicle overall, then the weight transfer, as the front of the machine's down here, you can see the front tires squash down because your weight, your back tires are halfway up the ramp and it deflects all the weight into the front. And then you lose traction versus with forward loading, obviously, to these higher platforms that you have when you're doing on bed trucks, uh, then you get the the benefit of the weight transfer where the weight's transferring back into the traction tires but that would put more weight on the ramps at one specific location versus a distributed load between front and back when you're doing a reverse loading operation as far as curved versus straight i like the curve there's not much curve in them but it gives that little uh forgiveness at the apex now let me reload it and i'll show you how it goes on there. Okay, so that's easy enough. And then with this truck, of course, being big enough, I can easily carry the blower, the big backpack blower and everything. Uh, and I'll put the string trimmer in there. And of course, this time of year with it raining and with the leaves and stuff, the backpack blower becomes, you know, beneficial. I built a little pallet that has some wood stops right here that's connected to those boards that go back in the middle. And uh, what that does is give a little place for the front wheels to drop down in and then when I pull forward with the strap the ratchet strap then it kind of sucks it down into against that board and then overall that holds it in the position I like it because uh, the back wheels are nearly to the humps and the deck locks down on the thing and it what it does is it before without that little pallet one the, the deck would drag pretty hard and two the natural stop point was all the way forward at the box, which kept me from accessing tools and stuff because the forks would be ran against the the lid. Okay, so that anyway, that's that might be useful information. I don't know. Y'all have a good day.